The Hunter Valley is the oldest wine region in Australia. There are over 150 wineries in this area. I'm here to introduce you to some of the unique characters that makes a Hunter Valley a must-visit food and wine destination. I'm Billy Law. Come with me and let's explore Hunter Valley together. Today, I'm getting down dirty, pick up some produce from two fantastic kitchen garden, and then pair with a wine from an award-winning winery here in Hunter Valley. That's why I'm starting my day here at Margan with one of the most spectacular view in the Hunter Valley. Now, Andrew, I always feel so special every time I'm standing in this barrel room. I think it's a great venue for wedding. I know a lot of people have wedding here. So t tell us more about Margan. Started 20 years ago and uh, worked very hard on having unique uh, wines made from special soil that we have out here in Broke. Now, I know Margan has won lots of awards recently, so what makes this place so special? Well, I think, um, you know, originally we're farmers at heart and, uh, and as farmers we, we grow all our own, own things, whether it's the grapes or the food into the restaurant. And I think that's a, a, a real experience for people, um, you know, farmers having a restaurant as opposed to restauranteurs having maybe a bit of a garden. Uh, and I think that's what we do that's, that's quite different to everyone else and it's, uh, it's a unique offering that we provide here, growing all of our own grapes, we're state grown, state made basically. Now I'll be cooking with Emerson later on, so which wine do you think, you know, will go with olives? Well, I think the thing is about Hunter Valley wines is a wonderful acid structure and more medium body. Um, so their red wines do match with a lot of food. Um, Chardonnay also, you know, it's got a richer body, it, it, it goes a lot of things as well. So, I mean, either of those wines are going to be uh, fantastic with whatever you're cooking today. I'm, I can guarantee they'll, they'll match fine. Fantastic, I'd probably grab a couple. <laughs> no worries, go for your life. <laughs> Thank you. With a fantastic Chardonnay ready to go, it was a short trip just across the road to pick up some olives from Whispering Brook. Excuse me while I'm stuffing my face with these delicious olives here from Whispering Brooks, all thanks to the labor of little Susan. Susan. Billy. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, tell me more about the olives here. So the, we're picking today our calamatas, right. um, which of course is a, a Greek varietal. Right. Um, and uh, we have um, uh, in our grove calamatas, manzanello, as well as uh, fruit. So what's the difference? Apart from the calamata, what other varieties do you guys have? So we also produce uh, manzanello olives, which right. um, are also a table olive. And okay. they're important because um, bees actually use them to pollinate all of the other varietals in right. the grove. Fantastic for this whole Hunter Valley region. Exactly, exactly. So um, we've got about 20 or 30 manzanello trees sprinkled throughout the grove right. um, for that reason. Once they're picked, um, from here we'll pickle them over several months in a brine solution and right. that, that's important um, that it's done slowly because it, it gradually um, removes the bitterness from olives okay. um, and produces that beautiful flavour, um, you know, that salty, lovely flavour and then we um, pickle them in a, in a solution of right. um, red wine vinegar, chilli and garlic and that's that's I've learned my lesson. I them. tasted a raw one. <laughs> Never again. Never again. You only do it <laughs> once, don't you? Exactly. Well, thanks, Susan. I'm going to pick up a few of these olives and I'm going to cook it with them later at oh, Amazon. Fantastic. So thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Wine and olives are usually fine by themselves, but I'm off to meet Emerson to get his take on a Hunter Valley inspired dish. Now, Emerson, tell me more about your restaurant. We opened Emerson's in 2010, okay. um, September. Yep. Um, basically been here for nearly five years. Our um, original location was at Casuarina on Hermitage Road. Um, right. we, we moved here in 2013 on Lovedale Road at Adina Vineyard. Yep. Um, we've been here ever since. Um, I've been in the Hunter Valley for 14 years. Great. Um, I've dined at your restaurant before. I am hooked with your food because I know you're quite passionate with, with, with the produce. Like I can see back here, you have your own garden. Yeah. You know, um, is it like most of the produce, most of the dishes from this from well, here? We try, we try as much as we can um, to yeah. get out of um, what we can out of the garden. But look, unfortunately, you can only plant so much yep. stuff. And um, once we've got, got those, we still we still have our supplies basically. But we try we try to get as much as we can, so it's sort of sustainable. Today, I'm going to set you a challenge. So basically, I pick up a wine and a, and a produce for you to play with and see how you can come up with a dish to pair with this wine. So I picked up the wine from Margan, a Chardonnay from Margan, and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with olives. <laughs> Since you're among the olives farm here, so I just want to see what you can come up with. So what do you have in mind? Look, I'm um, just going to do a dish um, that, that we've got on our menu for lunch. Okay. Um, it's just a... Um, 
olive tart. Yep. Um, it's got three different types of textures, mm -hmm. olive textures. We've got your, um, obviously your, um, olives that have been brined in yep. salt and water. Um, and then we've got some dehydrated, dehydrated olives, um, yep. which is pretty simple. Um, just pit the olives, put in the um, oven overnight on 70 degrees, take it out in the morning. I just love that, you know, a simple olive, you can come up with so many different ways of using it, so. We've got some house-made puff pastry here that we make on in-house. In um, you can get this from any supermarket. It's pretty, um, it's pretty accessible. Okay. Um, so what we do is just gonna cut a, a circle out of this. Yep. And we'll just put it on this tray here. We cut out a little semicircle right. in the middle so that when we put it in the oven, it'll puff up and you'll have that rim base. So basically we're just putting some egg wash okay. on this puff pastry so it goes nice and golden brown when we put it in the oven. Okay. In the oven for about eight to 10 minutes until it's nice golden brown, um, 180 degrees Celsius. And um, we come up, had one ready, ready there you done, go. which is Beautiful. Perfect. Just here. Now, while Emerson is plating his signature dish, the olive and cheese tart. So I'm wondering what would be your Hunter Valley inspired dish to pair with this Chardonnay? Cook a dish that is Hunter Valley inspired, Instagram it and tag in XPD AU, also hashtag Gourmet Hunter, and you could win an ultimate getaway to Hunter Valley and flight accommodation, car hire, all covered. And you enjoy a spa session, a boutique wine tour and some truly gourmet meals. What do we have here? And just to finish up, we just got some mustard crust from the garden, some um, wild rocket, and that's it. That looks fantastic. So for more inspiration, check out gourmethuntervalley.expedia.com.au. So cheers. Cheers, baby. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's dig in.